This video will have spoilers. Masculinity is not morality. Morality is not masculinity. I do not encourage, condone, promote, or in any way, shape, or form support the immoral, illegal, or violent actions of the fictional character analyzed in this video. The alpha male will be defined as an abstract concept, specifically a performative social construct, used to describe a human being, usually a male, who has been elected by perceived reputation and social groupthink to perform the role of the social dominant, in exchange for the leadership required to achieve the mutually desired goals of the group. Masculinity will be defined as the characteristics human beings have attributed to the male biological XY chromosome sex of human beings having attached penises when they come out of their mother's bodies and the characteristics attributed to the gender and gender expression in the sense as biological sex is the root, gender is the flower. In this video, I will be analyzing the fictional character Driver, the primary protagonist of the 2011 film Drive. I will only be covering the character as portrayed in the film, and not any other media. You discuss this with anybody else? No, just you. You're not very good at this, are you? Check out who this fucking guy is. If I drive for you, you get your money. You tell me where we start, where we're going, where we're going afterwards. I give you five minutes when we get there. Anything happens in that five minutes, and I'm yours, no matter what. Anything a minute either side of that, and you're on your own. I don't sit in while you're running it down. I don't carry a gun. I drive. The man known as Driver is an auto garage mechanic, getaway driver, stunt double, stunt driver, and violent criminal based out of Echo Park, Los Angeles. Identified as Standard Gabrielle of Echo Park, Los Angeles. Driver is directly employed as a garage mechanic by his friend Shannon. He's a good guy. You know, he walked into my shop here about five or six years ago, uh, right out of the blue, asking for a job. So I put him to the test, see what he can do. Kid's amazing. So I hire him on the spot. Who also gets him work as a stunt double and stunt driver. The director wants to see a rollover, you okay with that? Shannon also provides the vehicles driver uses to moonlight as a getaway driver. There she is, Chevy Impala. Most popular car in the state of California. No one will be looking at you. Within the story of Drive, Driver fulfills several roles, including, but not limited to, mechanic, stunt double, stunt driver, getaway driver, enhanced interrogator, and protector to Irene and Benicio. He's a good guy. You know, he walked into my shop here about five or six years ago, uh, right out of the blue, asking for a job. So I put him to the test, see what he can do. Kid's amazing. So I hire him on the spot. Boom. Driver has no explicit backstory. Driver has no implied backstory. Driver has no inferred backstory. Driver never self-identifies any name. Driver never acknowledges any name. Driver has no reputed name. Driver self-identifies no alias. Driver acknowledges an alias such as Kid. Hey, kid, come over here for a second, will you? Driver has reputed names such as Driver. That's why this driver's got a go, Bernie. Driver lives in a one-bedroom apartment in Echo Park, Los Angeles. Driver has no family. Driver has three friends, Irene, Benicio, and Shannon. Hello? Benicio, is that you? Hey. Uh, hi. Your mother there? Driver is 29 years old, as Ryan Gosling, the actor who portrayed Driver, was 29 years old when the filming for Drive began on September 25th, 2010. 
Driver was born in either 1980 or 1979. Driver is six feet tall. Driver weighs between 170 and 190 pounds. Driver is white. Driver has blue eyes. Driver has dark blonde hair. Driver has a short trim style haircut. Driver has a clean shaven face. Driver wears a white satin jacket with a yellow scorpion on the back. Driver also carries a rabbit's foot on his keychain. Mr. Rose, I wouldn't come to you with this unless I was absolutely sure about it. How can you be sure, Shannon? What do you got that the big professional race teams don't? I got the driver. You just told me they had half a dozen drivers. Not like this one. This kid is special. Been working with him for a while. I've never seen anything like it. You can take this. Oh, no. I feel bad. No, no. Don't even think twice about it. He'd be happy to do it. He's a good guy. Within the story of Drive, Driver is described as... Look like a zombie, kid. You getting any sleep? Oh, you don't smoke. That's right. What do you got that the big professional race teams don't? I got the driver. You just told me they had half a dozen drivers. Not like this one. This kid is special. Been working with him for a while. I've never seen anything like it. You put this kid behind the wheel. There's nothing he can't do. But I want to meet the kid first. Good driving out there. He's a good guy. Kid's amazing. Within the story of Drive, Driver is valued, feared, cooperated with, competed against, and avoided. Driver is cooperated with out of value in several different ways. He is given jobs. You give me a time and a place, I give you a five minute window. The director wants to see a rollover, you okay with that? You for. Is solicited for jobs. I got this sweet job coming up. Is given resources. Is counted on. Counting on you. Is invested in. It's that he has a lot invested in you. And so do I. Is cooperated with. Driver is cooperated with out of fear. He is given resources such as information. Now what did Cook tell you? He said there would be another car to hold us up. But he didn't say anything about all this money. He didn't say anything about it. Oh. Whose money do I have? <laughs> Don't worry, they're gonna come get it. No. <laughs> called him. Somebody called me, no. Driver is competed against out of value by the Los Angeles Police Department. <laughs> Nino's criminal organization, and Bernie Rose. <laughs> Driver is avoided out of fear by Nino on the beach. Within the story of Drive, Driver faces several different challenges. He faces the challenge of risk when committing all of his illegal actions and acts of violence. He faces the challenge of impediment by the Los Angeles Police Department, Bernie Rose, and Nino's criminal organization. He faces the challenge of the possibility of being killed when being pursued by Nino's criminal organization. He faces the challenge of the possibility of Irene and Benicio being killed by Nino's criminal organization. He faces the challenge of his best friend's murder by Nino's criminal organization. He faces the challenge of his own vicious nature being incompatible with the nature of those whom he loves. Called him. Somebody call Nino! See? 
driver isn't directionless. He's not a man that doesn't know what to do with himself. He has a goal, a mission, a thing that he works toward every day. A purpose that brings him value and meaning into his life. Driver's purpose is to defend Irene and Benicio from Nino's criminal organization after they threaten him. And he goes through enormous pains and challenges to protect them, which at the end he successfully does. <laughs> Driver isn't a coward. He doesn't run away in the face of danger or fear. He faces danger. He faces fear. He does what needs to be done regardless of how scared or tired he is. Okay, here's the deal. This much for Blanche. This much for that asshole, minus what he owes me. And this much for you. You still interested? Good. Anything else? When you get your money, his debt's paid. He's out for good. And you never go near his family again. You understand? Driver isn't timid. He isn't fearful or shy. He has faith in himself. He has trust in himself, in his abilities, in his success. He is confident that he will succeed in any situation he walks himself into. It was the best day of my life. Driver isn't a chatterbox. Driver doesn't just speak to speak. When Driver speaks, people listen. He never says anything that is unnecessary. Driver believes in saying little and lets his actions do the talking. Driver is taciturn. Driver is never caught off guard. People don't have to wait on him. He is never disorganized. He's never not ready for the task at hand. Driver is ready for whatever comes his way. He is locked, cocked, ready to rock. He waits on other people to get ready. He is always ready for the task at hand. Driver is prepared. Whose money do I have? <laughs> Don't worry, they're gonna come get it. No, no. Call them. Somebody call me, no. Driver never does anything he later regrets. His emotions never get the better of him no matter how strong they are. He is in control of himself. Driver controls his emotions. His emotions do not control him. Driver is always in complete control. Driver doesn't remain static through the course of the story. He learns and grows from his challenges and experiences. There is a story of the scorpion and the frog. A scorpion wants to cross a river, but cannot swim. So it asks a frog to carry it across. The frog hesitates, afraid that the scorpion might sting it. But the scorpion promises not to, pointing out that it would drown if it killed the frog in the middle of the river. The frog considers this argument sensible and agrees to transport the scorpion. Midway across the river, the scorpion stings the frog anyway. Dooming them both, the dying frog asks the scorpion why it stung despite knowing the consequence, to which the scorpion replies, I am sorry, but I couldn't resist the urge, it is in my nature. In his transformation, 
Driver comes to peace with the fact that he is a scorpion. And the people he loves, Irene and Benicio, are frogs. No matter what Driver ever says, thinks, or does, he is a scorpion, and he can never be in their life. He is a scorpion, and will always hurt the ones he loves, whether he wants to or not, or means to or not. He cannot help hurting them. It is in his nature. Is he a bad guy? Yeah. How can you tell? Because he's a shark. There's no good sharks? No. I mean, just look at him. And he can never change that. And so he leaves, never to return. It is in this way that Driver transforms. In conclusion, Driver serves as an example of masculinity for many reasons. He is valued, feared, cooperated with. He has, brings, and acquires value to himself and other people. He faces challenges. He transforms. He has purpose, courage, confidence, preparedness, and control. Driver has the reputation, challenges, transformation, and psychology of a man, and serves in many ways, some good, some bad, to illustrate what a man is.